Salute to everybody for just now coming in. Y'all hit the like button if you haven't already. We're going to talk about Charlemagne the God. Um, I just want y'all to take a look at this for a minute. You know, man, this is a husband, right? This is a husband. This is a father. This is a guy that, you know, has a voice. You know, he, he he's on a number one syndicated radio show. You know, and a lot of the young guys look up to him. A lot of the youth, you know, when they hear Charlemagne the God voice, you know, uh, they, they hear this guy, you know, they're familiar with his sound, they're familiar with his look because they hear him on a radio station, you know, the number one hip-hop and R&B station or the Lord syndicated radio show early in the morning when they go to school, you see Charlemagne the God. Again, this is a husband. You know, this is a this is a father, right? When I say this or why I say this is because, you know, what circumstance should a father want to even act as though he's in a dress or he's in uh, you know, he looking like this, a husband especially. You know, man, uh, you know, when I seen Charlamagne the guy, when he when he talked to Lil Nas X, you guys can go check out this content if you want to, or go check out those interviews. When he talked to Lil Nas X, and I know I'm going to make some people mad, right? A certain, you know, I'm going to make a little people mad, right? But it's okay. Uh, Lil Nas X with Charlamagne the guy, when he seen him, he embraced him. It's like he's, you know, he has such a, uh, detailed conversation. It's like he was so accepting of everything the little Nas X say. You know, that's when many people were starting to say, man, it's like it's an agenda getting pushed. And you even seen guys like Boosie go against the grain a little bit, and to which where a lot of people try to act as though they disown him, whatever the case may be, or they canceled him. You know, this is the cancel culture, right? But Charlamagne the God and the way he embraced little Nas X and just whatever little Nas X say, uh, he was so accepting of it. So much so the little Nas X can say, you know, I don't care, you know. F your kids, right? He never challenged that point. He never did anything along them lines. But as it pertaining to Boosie, you know, he he challenged everything that Boosie had to say. Y'all, Boosie, I want you to leave him alone. Boosie, do the Boosie. And like, you know, and Boosie actually had to say out of his own mouth, y'all know what's going on. Y'all know it's a basically an agenda getting pushed. Y'all just can't say it because y'all on here. You know, those type of things or, or Boosie sat there and challenged those guys. But I, I just, when I look at Charlamagne the God, I didn't see him challenge a Lil Nas X the same way he challenged Boosie, right? I put all the colors on because I thought it was fitting for the conversation. When I see a brother like Charlamagne the God, uh, you know, man, it's unfortunate to see a brother that, you know, is a husband. And the first thing he say, you know, many of you guys know he's a Dallas Cowboy fan, right? And so the Dallas Cowboys lost yesterday to the 49ers you know many people know the dallas cowboys man they 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 get them to a point and they fall off the cliff i know many cowboy fans my uncle a cowboy fan you know my my my, my daughter's grandmother is a, a, kid, a deep cowboy fan and you know they were very hurt by the loss but Charlemagne took to his instagram and instead of just saying that he upset with his team losing or he wanted him to fire the coach he showed himself in a dress like i don't understand as a man, right? As, as a man, as a masculine man, or as a, you know, as a leader, or whatever you, however you want to, whatever, as a leader of your household, as a man, as a person that, you know, supposed to set the example. Why would you want to portray yourself in a dress randomly in a loss for the Cowboys? You know, what example are you showing? What are you really trying to say? You know, uh, I just think it's very fitting for the reason why you've been protecting the little Nas X's of the world, or you, or you speak on their behalf. Are you constantly always playing gay games with DJ Envy, right? You guys remember when Charlamagne the God put a mold of a butt and told DJ Envy to lotion the butt and stick his finger in it and so on and so forth. These are two men. These are two husbands. Uh, that's, that's how they're having a conversation. I don't know about you. Me and my homeboys ain't doing that, bro. We ain't having no conversations about... You know, I'm going to give you a mold of my butt for whatever reason and tell you the lotion and spank it. And who, who does that? But when you see how that correlates with a Lil Nas X uh, interview and then the spinoff of that, when you had Boosie, uh, you treated him all together different. You know, it really shows me that it's really a deeper agenda getting pushed into our children as it has been for, you know, the last few years now. But to see this man take that opportunity to show himself in a dress. It's embarrassing, bro.
ask yourself, man, uh, these dudes that have these opportunities, these dudes that have these platforms, these dudes that, you know, created opportunities to continue to get more and more shows, late night shows, large syndicated radio shows, you know, all these different things, you know, they have to pay uh, a sacrifice. You know, a lot of this thing comes with sacrifice. You know, we heard about, as I said before, you heard about the mansion parties. You heard about different things that goes on in the Hollywood world that only only us on the outside can just speculate, right? Or use the different things that we learn from different entertainers and the, and the different things that they say in between times. If you can listen through the message that they're trying to push, like a Cat Williams that told you many times before that, you know, Holly Weir has some things going on and some guys like Professor Oglesby. You guys heard his stand-up comedy where he throw jabs at certain dudes and things that we don't supposed to know about, right? It's something about that industry that tells me, um, they want our children. They want our young ones to look at something and say that that's normal or, or normalize certain things. Look at certain things that are going on in the entertainment world and, and look at it as normality, right? When I see a brother like Charlamagne the God, even now, uh, even after he received a lot of backlash for treating Lil Nas X away, but treating Boosie altogether different, you know, we're talking about a sport. Your team lose, man. You can go out there. You can be in rap, ranting and raving. You see Stephen A. Smith. He do whatever he do when the Cowboys lose, as many other guys do when they see the Cowboys lose. You know, if you're an Eagle fan, you want to see the Cowboys lose. If you're a Giants fan, you probably want to see the Cowboys lose. This is just different things that you see in the sports world, and there's nothing wrong with that. But what reason would you take that opportunity to show yourself in a dress? I, I don't get it. And, and, and his caption says something along the lines of, you know, I guess I don't have to find me nothing to wear for the Super Bowl and... Whatever else, you know, what do you mean you don't have to find you nothing to wear as you're showing yourself in a dress? You know, why does those, why do those two run parallel with each other? If you're going to find you something to wear, I, I would imagine you shouldn't be imagining yourself finding you something to wear in, in a dress form. He showed himself in heels. And though it's all a, I don't know if it's a TikTok or just a, you know, something they got going around the social media world right now. But why do we have things in which where men can portray themselves as a woman? And those are the things that you're putting on your platform. That's the type of sick thing that you see, especially in our community, man. It's like that's what they want our children to accept. You know, and Charlemagne the guy, you are the leading candidate for uh, front line of who they use to, you know, push this more than ever, right? Especially when you got like a large radio show every morning or every other morning. Um, you can, I can guarantee you at some point he's going to throw some type of gay joke out there or he's going to, you know, just do different things in which where you question you know, what is the reason for that? Nevertheless, man, I just want to tell you all, man, to protect your children, man. Uh, understand that we are in control of our future. Understand that our children is looking up to us. If you're a man, be a man in your household. If you're a mother, continue to lead with, with the nurturing spirit. Continue to try to guide, our, guide and steer our children in the right direction because if we leave it up to anybody else, outside the parents, you know, there's no telling, you know, what the kids can pick up on, what bad habits they can choose, or, you know, just different things like that, man. So I just... Encourage all you all to keep your household first, you know, uh, lead with love to all the youth that's watching this right now, man. Understand that you are in control of your future. Don't get sidetracked. Don't let nobody that you look up to in the media or you look up to in, you know, any, any, any aspect of your life. You know, just understand that you are in control of your future. Protect yourself. Understand your purpose in life and walk in your truth. You know what I'm saying? Walk in your truth of love, your truth of leadership, your truth of, you know, just... You know, just protect your mind, yo. You know what I'm saying? Because if you sit back and you understand what's really going on in the world, if you really understand what's going on in television, what's really going on on the radio, everything that's bad, they turn it into good. You know what I'm saying? I just want you to spin that and understand that everything that they meant for bad for you, you show them that you can make some good out of it, right? You are the future. Lead with love, man. Protect your household. And uh, I wish you all well. I wish you all continued success. But a brother like Charlamagne the God, man, you are an embarrassment to our community, if you ask me, um, for multiple ways. Because I feel as though, like, you know, you, you you take to these platforms and you have some good perspective when you're talking about some black uh, problems in ways. But at the same time, I think that you are uh, agenda-based. I think that you are a guy that they use as a puppet in a way, right? I think you are a guy that, you know, um, they can pull strings, but they allow you to say some some things. But it's a lot of things that you show us. It's a contradiction to the things you say out your mouth. There's no way you can say that you want to protect the black woman or you want to protect our children and different things along those lines. But every time they see you, they see you doing different things like giving out a mold of your butt or putting lotion on the butt or a finger in the butt and dressing up as a woman and, 
You know, granted, we accept people for what they're worth. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to be in this world, you can be that. But as a married man, as a husband, as a father, I don't think that's setting a good example for not only your children, but the other children that's watching you or looking up to you. But that's just my opinion, right? Each one, teach one. As long as we have each other, we continue to grow together. Y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think about Charlamagne the guy using the Cowboys loss as an opportunity to show itself in a dress. To me, it's a weird thing. But that's my opinion. I pray you all have a good day.